Okay, here's an example of a strip diagram um, to help with proportional reasoning. So say you have four parts red. Okay, so here I'm going to have my strip with four. And again, these are red, 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 and red. And then over here to five parts white. So white, 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 and white. All right, and it depends on what I tell you. If I tell you the total, um, that's going to tell you one thing. If I tell you the part, that's going to tell you another thing. So for example, say I tell you that um, this person used um, 27 pints um, or say they made 27 pints of pink paint. All right, so if there's 27, that is a total. So that's telling you that all of this paint um, made up 27 pints. And so then you can look at your strips and you're like, okay, I have nine strips, 27 pints, and you can divide and figure out that each of these would have a value of three pints. Okay, so this would be three pints, 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 and so forth, okay? So then I can ask you questions like, okay, well, how many pints of red were there? And so you can look and say, okay, there were 12 pints of red. And then you can look over here and say, oh, so there's 15 pints of white. And then you can see that it does equal the 27 that we want, okay? Now in the same strip diagram, again, we have four parts of red. And then we also have, again, the same problem, just five parts white. Okay. And so this time I could give you the part. So I could say, for example, the person only has um, eight gallons of red I guess only that's a lot but they have eight gallons of red and they want to know how many white gallons they need to make a massive amount of pink paint all right so now I'm telling you the part because I'm specifically telling you that you have eight gallons of red so this amount right here has to be eight gallons and so you can look at that and you can say okay eight gallons divided by four is what two gallons two gallons two gallons two gallons okay so that's eight so you know gallons and again gallons gallons and gallons so that tells you the value of your strip and with strip diagrams the whole thing that we're working on is that um they're like a variable they're consistent so if one strip is worth two they're all worth two so this guy's two gallons two gallons two gallons two gallons and two gallons so then i could ask you a question like okay how many gallons of white are there Okay, so I gave you this, and so now you can look and say, okay, well, there's one, two, three, four, five strips, and they're each worth two, so there must be 10 gallons of white. And then I can also ask you how many gallons of paint were made, and so again, that would be all the strips, right? So then you could see 18 gallons of pink paint would be made in the end.